Hey everyone, it's Donald. Uh, today, what we're gonna be replacing is a screen and the CPU board that's on, on these Harvest Right machines. So, first thing we're gonna do is take off at least the top, and then that way we can actually get this portion all out. And then what I do is your grounding screw up top here, take that one off. Obviously you're gonna have all this unplugged. So what was happening with this screen was it would turn on and then it automatically restart um, even if the customer um, try uploading new software, it wouldn't take no new software, it just do that. So what we're doing is taking off these two screws on the top part here, setting those aside. We'll then take off this screw on the side here, set it aside. A lot of people like to call the CPU board, they like to call it a uh, USB board. Um, so whatever you really want to call it. After we get that part done though, just pull this off and it will actually come off like this. You'll see the screen has uh, four screws on the front after doing that. Take off the gray ribbon in the back that's connecting it. And then if you look in the back of your CPU or USB port, you're gonna see there's wires back here. Flip the little switch down with your fingernail and it will let you pull out the ribbon cable. So next thing we're going to do is take off the screen. And I'm trying to make it to where you guys can see it. So hopefully I don't drop the screen, but at the end of the day, we have a replacement. We believe it's broke anyway. So Try not to lose the screws. You are going to need them again. And you'll see this whole piece will come out. It's got your uh, screen in it. So just set this aside. We'll get to it in a sec, because we also are gonna do the CPU board. So since we have the screen out, now we're gonna get the CPU board out. If you see, I'm trying to make the easiest way for you guys to see it all. The only screw that's really connecting this is the one that's right here. So there's a little nut in the back. Kind of can be a pain in the butt to get back on especially. So you have the nut, you have a washer. So once you unscrew that, get that nut with your finger off, set it aside. And then you're going to pull this board out. There's some plastic pieces that are holding it together, but when you pull it out, obviously we got the washer and then we have that screw that was in here as well. You got a couple other spots that have plastic parts that are connected and you will just kind of slide that out like this. So, And turn this screw for the most part comes out, but you need to just unscrew it until it comes all the way out.
So that one's bad. We'll set it to the side. We'll take our new one that we have. So these are the new ones just came from Harvest Right. So the biggest thing you want to make sure when you do this though, open up your packages, make sure Harvest Right sent you the correct stuff. Take out your new board, your USB board. There's one spot on this one because there's only one ribbon to plug in there, okay? If you have two ribbons, there should be this longer one and then a short one, and it will match up to your screen. So we know we got the correct one, so that's good. Next thing we're gonna do is just put this back in opposite of what we just did. So I slide in the board, matching it up to the holes, the plastic ones anyway and I get it somewhat in there, okay? The next thing we have to do is the screw, the washer. It, we know it's gonna go in here. So I get that screw at least started, get the washer in place, and push it down in. So hopefully you guys can see that. Now, I know I need my nut to go right on that area too. So what I do is Get this nut, push it up in this, pull this out just a tiny bit. And then I grab my screwdriver to try helping me get started at least on that nut. So I have it nice and tight, so it's on. So now I'm just gonna make sure that in all these corners I have good connections, which I do. Next thing we're gonna do is put the screen back on or the new screen on. So I'll take my old screen, take the top off, take this screen out just like this. So in turn, I'm gonna put the new screen on, same exact way. Make sure you take the cover off, the protectiveness. So take that off. Put your screen back on. Should line up. And we're gonna line this right back up Angel, can they still see? right back up and we're gonna put the screws back in the same way we just took them out. After I get them lined up, of course. So, one's in. Once you get the first couple in, I personally do like opposite sides first. Then I just drop these last two in. Now the other thing we're gonna to do, the last really two parts here, is put this ribbon cable, can I see? You're gonna kind of pull it up some yeah. and set it down into that area. Trying to make to where you guys can see, I'm sorry.
You want to be careful with this because it will break if you move on it too hard. Normally I have it like sitting in my lap. So I feel it's a little easier that way. And when you think you have it down in, use your fingernail, push on that black, and it should hold it down. That being said, it seems like it's down in. We'll find out when we actually uh, turn this bad boy on. Put your ribbon cable back in. There's only one way it will go in, so don't force it. Put that back in, and then we should be done. We'll see when we turn this machine on. Well, that's not true. I lied to you. So obviously we got to put the, the cover back on. So you'll see the USB port, USB port, slide that part in. There's a little hole in here. Slide that in. Pull it out on the far side a little bit to get over the machine. So you'll have it plugged in like that. Our screw we took out. I guess I was missing part of this because I definitely didn't do the grounding wire either. So you get that part put on, screw that in. Then have our grounding wire. Same spot. You'll see the little indentions on the black, most likely from the... Uh, washer where it was connected before. And then we had uh, one last one here and here. Hopefully my wife's been paying attention. I have one more machine I gotta fix. And she's actually gonna do that replacement. So slowly gotta try to get her taught up on how to do this. So we now have that all put back together. We'll set it back in here. We'll get this machine plugged in. Once I get far enough back. turn her back on. So this has the new uh, 24 version on it. Before what we were seeing was it restart over and over and over again. So I'll mess with some of this customization stuff just to make sure that we're able to push buttons and make sure that we're not going to see the same responses. And the screen as of right now doesn't look like it wants to respond to us at all. So it's a little loose over here in the corner, but shouldn't still, we should still see a response from this machine because it's not that loose. Um, so what we'll do is do some troubleshooting real quick with you guys. Turn it off. Make sure we're setting here probably really good. Turn it back on. Got the Harvest Right logo. And we're not going to respond. So, when we don't respond, we turn it back off. 
put two fingers on the screen and we should see it go into some calibration mode, hopefully. We're gonna see it treat me like a dummy. So, off, on. What we want to see is it go into a calibration mode, which obviously is not happening. So, turn on. So, I wasn't 100% sure if we had, um, I'm going to play this real quick. Wasn't 100% sure if we had that gold ribbon cable in, so what I'm gonna do is actually verify that ribbon cable is in here correctly. So, I'm gonna use my fingernail like we talked about before. Got that ribbon cable out. So it's loose. I'm now gonna put it back in. Make sure it's down in there and then re do that. So try that out and we'll give that a try. Oh, might help if I plug it in so it can actually do that. Before I ever mess with the electrical stuff, I make sure I unplug it. So, um, unplugged it, got that ribbon cable back in. Still not getting a response from the screen itself. It looks a little loose in there, but man. So, we go from installing to now troubleshooting. As I told you guys, you guys are never going to see videos where I just do some BS where um, we don't, I don't cut my videos short. If I have problems, you guys have a chance to have problems and we're going to try working it together. I'm plugging the machine. I'm going to take this off again because we're going to now get back in here. So... I think one thing my wife hates is I uh, probably don't cut some of this stuff. So, um, but I just don't think it's fair that you guys see stuff acting like it is always perfect. Um, I try being as perfect of a husband as I can, and I'm just not very good at it sometimes. So, uh, let's see here. So the only things really that I would think that would cause a screen not to respond is just we might not have got it all the way um, seated in there. So the CPU we know is seated in there. So we get those screws off. We'll take this back off. We saw this screen was a little bit loose. See if I can get it down more, but it's not really moving. So what we'll do is take it off completely. Make sure we don't have nothing pinched inside or anything like that.
So I'm just looking at this, make sure there's nothing like pinched in here, anything like that. Make sure the screens, maybe I, I might have had it on a lip here maybe, and that's maybe what it did. I don't know if everyone can see. Maybe I had it sitting on a lip, but what we'll do is make sure it's sit inside the cover all the way, and then we'll reinstall this back in here. So I'm hoping that's all we uh, really got going on there. The screws don't feel right when you're putting them in. They're probably not like right there. I felt like I was kind of like forcing one in. So make sure you don't force it in. Just work it slowly. You guys have put these in before. Well, you yeah, haven't put them in before, but you, you know what screws typically feel like going in. If it has some resistance right away, probably not going in right. So we'll make sure that these are on here tight that being said if you have them on too tight it can cause a pinch screen but i haven't seen it as much in this setup compared to what i've seen in the older machines where they actually you screwed on the nuts so we will now put our cover back on usb port side right USB port side, pull this over a little bit. And I mean, there's always a chance that we just got a bad screen from Harvest Ride even. So, unfortunately, it's electronics and that can happen. Put our grounding wire back on. Screw the grounding wire then the washer. Set this back in place like we've done before. Okay, plug it back in. Cross our fingers that it's gonna work. Turn it back on. So we have the screen on. I know it's on, but for some reason the screen will not turn back on. So, you guys are all laughing at me probably at home, but you guys are gonna have the same issues maybe. So let's just attack them together. We had the screen on a second ago. Let's see if we turn it back on. I see the light turned on, right? So that definitely turned on. And we're not getting anything on our screen. So we did the great that we did that ribbon cable a second ago. Let's check it back out again. See, perfect example 
on why you want to double check your stuff. I never put this ribbon cable back on. So some people um, will get upset that maybe their screen doesn't work or something like that. But that could be a perfect reason why. I have had multiple machines come to me that were missing the gray ribbon cable so it wouldn't power on. So we put this back in here. Make sure it gets in there nice and good. Which I feel like this is a really weird fit personally. I feel like I've always had it go in better than this. So I'm not a fan of the ribbon cable that's actually on this one. It doesn't seem like, right, but. All right, so let's see if we get a screen this time. So we get a screen this time. Still no response to this screen. So the last screen I had, I got response to. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this screen back off. My last screen at least gave me a response. The problem was is the CPU kept doing a restart. So what we'll do is now take this screen back off. I unplugged everything again. And I get it, right? Everyone is probably like frustrated right now and like, oh my gosh, you know, it should be so easy. But the problem is you're dealing with electronics and something easily could just be bad or anything like that. So um, like we've done before, we can take off the front cover. We're gonna remove the gold strip, which remember I said, I didn't think it felt right anyway going in. So move that gold strip. Take the screen back off. I want to say Harvest Right sends the two parts out just to make sure they match up correct would be my guess, but I'm not 100% sure because if your screen itself works, I don't know why they just wouldn't send a CPU or the screen's not working, but if they are both bad, I guess it makes some sense because um, then you're not waiting for parts twice, but it does cost money um, to do that. So... This is the new screen. I know that. So we'll take this one out. This is the old screen, which we have to make sure is seated correct in this, which we know is. I'm just looking at both of them, make sure there's not like something that maybe looks weird or different. So nothing really pops out to me on the way they're made. They look the same. So get that back in. Seated nice. I do appreciate everybody who's uh, continuing to watch, to actually watch this thing, like, hopefully get back together appropriately. Be careful not to lose your screws. Um, these ones, 
I don't know what size they are, but yeah, definitely try not to lose those screws. Flip this back over. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just did this. I am a complete dummy, you guys. I put the screen on upside down. Oh man. You can't tell, I'm a little frustrated myself. So if you guys ever get frustrated, hey, Donald does it too. So, and I have replaced a lot, a lot of these screens. Um, so, make sure when you guys just do it, spend some time. Last time I didn't put the ribbon cable in. This time I went to put the ribbon cable on and found out that it's actually on upside down. So, where the ribbon cable goes is right here. So, the way I have this, this kind of move this time um so we will again flip it around make sure this screen's in here nice and good So, we now know we got the ribbon cable in the right spot. So, we'll tighten this back up. If you're watching this video and your screen worked the first time, you don't need to be doing all the stuff that I'm doing right now. Because right now we're just trying to figure out, hey, what issues did we have with the last one? So we were putting this cable back, this gold ribbon back in. Locking it down. Just push on the black that's back there. Okay, seems to be in. Not pulling on it too hard because we don't want to rip it. Case. USB side, of course, first. Goes in this little hole on the side. Then pops in. Somehow I wrap my ground wire completely to the opposite side of the machine. And I know that just due to the fact of uh, I see the indention here on where it was. So grounding wire washer
It don't matter what order you guys put these in, as long as they're all going in, they're in the correct places. And uh, as I said, be careful not to lose screws, because um, that one definitely fell on the bottom, and now I gotta look for it real quick. So. And I'm um, just drop another one. Good thing is, it should only be right here. Found it. It is easier probably if you have all of it off, that way you can find stuff like that, but it's all good. So, this one just goes on the side like we've been doing before. And we will now Try this again. And I don't know why this thing does not want to connect for me or read. Because the last one definitely was Connecting. Normally I don't mess with the electronics while it's plugged in, but I'm definitely going to try checking some stuff out. Uh, let's see. So the board is connected. We didn't reconnect that. Powered on. We'll undo this. Reconnect it. Angel, can you try using your finger and see if it will push the button, please? So I'm really thinking the CPU where we connect this cable in is actually the spot that's bad. Because it seems to not go in right. So what we'll do is make a video of replacing another CPU. So uh, as I said, lots of issues you could have. Um, this one, I'm gonna go back and replace the CPU actually. Even if I only have the old one, I can see, hey, was this CPU bad? Because we should have clicking and then moving because that's what we had before. The only issue we had with the last CPU was the changing, uh, wanting to reboot all the time. So I'm going to go back, replace the CPU again, and uh, we'll make another video for you guys. So take care.